In this video, I'm going to show you how to start searching, filtering, browsing, sorting, and other ways of finding your sounds and sounds you're looking for inside of Loop Cloud 2.0. Everything I'm about to show you pertains to both the library and the store. I'm going to stick to the library for now. At the top, there's a search bar, and it's just like any other search bar you've used before. If I type in bass and hit enter, I'll get any results with bass anywhere in the system. Instrument tags and file names, for example. There's also a loop or one-shot button over here at the top right. If I hit loop, only loops with bass will be shown. If I hit one-shot, only one-shots with bass will be shown. If I want to go back to both loops and one-shots, I've just got to click whatever is active one more time and it will deactivate it. Remember, to switch from the library to the store, we just use these buttons right here. And there's also a randomize feature. So if I click this, it will randomize the results. If I click it again, it will go back to normal view. And if I click it one more time, we'll get random results again. These will be different than the last random results. So that's a good way to keep things fresh and interesting. There's also the filtering system right here under the search bar. We can filter by instruments. Here are all the instrument tags genres, genre tags, labels, formats, and of course key and BPM. Now there are also column sort features. So if I want to sort by key, I've just got to click the column. Now you'll see some of these are missing key and that's because they're one shots. If I click loop, we should have, there we go. Now everything is sorted in this column. And that's going to work the same way for all of the columns that you can see. Not only that, but if you right click right here, we can choose which columns we actually see. And here are the different columns we have available to us. And anyone with a check mark is what's being shown at the moment. So hopefully now you have a good idea of how to get in and start finding sounds inside of Loop Cloud 2.0.